Hello and welcome to the Web2Pi no channel. In this tutorial, we are going to create these two sections with smooth scrolling. We will use Lenny's library for smooth scroll. Also, we will use JSAP green sock animation and scroll trigger plugin. In the first section, this block will be fixed and we will create the horizontal scrolling. Let's get started. I have already connected style CSS script.js file and also CDN links, green sock animation, scroll trigger plugin and Lenny's library CDN link. Also, I have connected fonts Slucen. Also, as you can see, font weights are set separately for each font. Okay, and let's start with section vertical. I will set the ID vertical. Inside, I will create container and block vertical content. In this section, we will have two columns. I will create column left. I will set class call. Uh, to stylize it in the style CSS. In the left column I will create h2 heading, I will set class vertical heading and we will create three spans inside this element because we want to have a three lines and left border. So I will set just a random text about smooth scroll. Ok, we have created left column and on the right column I will create four vertical items. So I will set class vertical item, it will be four blocks inside the heading and paragraph text. And just three more items. And let's stylize this section. From the very beginning I will set styles for HTML document. So I will set scroll behavior initial and overflow hidden to, to hide the scroll bars. Okay, and also I will set width 100 and min height 100 for HTML body element. And for body I will set font family Slucen, as we have connected the fonts from fonts folder. Okay, and also font size 16, font white, background color black and color white. Okay, and the next step let's stylize the headings. I will set for H2 heading firstly font size 60 pixels. Font weight I want to set 900, but by default it will fetch the first font, so it means it will fetch compressed, because we have one compressed and one expanded. Also I will set line height. Also border left 3 pixels. The color will be light pink. Also will set padding and margins. Ok, on the next step let's stylize each line of the H2 heading. It will be just display block, because we want to display it in the new line. For H3 heading, I will set font size 20 pixels, font stretch expanded. So as you can see, this is compressed font and this is expanded. Ok, and color pink and line height 100. Also, I will set for each heading text transformer per case. Ok, and the next step I will stylize container. Let's stylize sections. For sections I will set padding 50 pixels from top and bottom. Also for columns I will set with 50%. Ok, once we have finished it with general styles, let's stylize the vertical section. Vertical section will have height 200 VH. Also width, full width, and vertical content block will have display flex justify content center and the line items will have a flex start value. Okay, for the left column I will set 100%. And for right column 40%. Also as you can see it's very strange, we have layout only in one column. It's because we have a mistake over here. Now we have the two columns aligned. And on the next step, I will also stylize the margin bottom for each block. I will set 240 pixels, except the last block. Okay, also as you can see, scroll is not working now, because firstly we need to initialize the Lenny's library. So let's do this. I will set const Lenny's, new Lenny's. And then firstly we need to set duration parameter. 
I will set duration parameter from documentation and using parameter use math function. I will also use parameters from the documentation. To make it work, we need to set the function rough, parameter time, and we need to use lenis and call the rough function inside time parameter. Also, there is the function request animation frame. So we need to call that as well. Provide the rough parameter and call it one, one more time. And now, as you can see, smooth scrolling works. Okay, so we have finished it with Lenny's library, basically. And now let's work on the JSAP animation. So we want to have this element fixed. And I will set variable section one. So we need to get element by ID of section vertical. Also, we need to get the column left to define the fixed element on the left side. Const column left. I will use query selector. And also, we need to define timeline variable. I will say JSAP timeline. So it means when we will have the JSAP scroll trigger animation, this element will be fixed and it will have posted value. Okay, now let's define the from to method for timeline. So the first parameter, it will be the column left. Okay, and start point of y axis will be zero. And to 170 VH. So this means this block will go to the 170 VH. Duration one is none. Okay, on the next step, we need to create the scroll trigger animation. I will set scroll one, scroll trigger create method, and the first property is animation, it's timeline, the same property to which we have set the from two. Okay, trigger property means that when we scroll, this section will be triggered and it defines the animation. Trigger will be section one. For start point, I will set top and top and endpoint. For endpoint, I will set bottom center and scrub true. Also, we need to update the scroll trigger. Otherwise, it will not work correctly with Lenny's. And after our animation should work correctly. So we have a smooth scroll Lenny's and fix it fixed column on the left side using scroll trigger and JSAP. Okay, we have finished it with the first section and on the next step let's work on the section 2. Okay, and let's work with section 2. I will set section ID horizontal. Inside of this section I will set div container as well and horizontal content. In this section I want to create five horizontal items. So I will set div horizontal item Inside of each item, we'll have the number. Uh, for this block with number, I will set horizontal num class. And in the same way for others. Okay, so you can see we have five items, but without stylizing. So we have finished it with HTML of the second section. And now let's stylize. Okay, for horizontal section, I will set padding 100, 0. For horizontal content, I will set display flex. Okay, and also for each horizontal item, I will set borders and paddings, so each item will have a card view. Okay, and for each horizontal item, except the last child, I will set margin right 50 pixels. Okay, and for the numbers, I will set font size 80 pixels, font weight 900 but the font stretch will be condensed and color light pink. Okay, and it seems we have finished it with styles of the second section. We just need to implement the horizontal scroll. So let's go to the scripts and so I will set the variable const section 2. We need to get section horizontal by id. Also, we need to get the box items to the JSAP array utils. In our case, it's horizontal item class. So we need to get these cards. OK, 
Okay, and so once we have done it, we need to use the GSAP animation method too. The first parameter is box items. Also, X% percent property will set horizontal scroll. I will set minus 100. And basically the length of box items. Also, ease effect will be sign out. Also, I want to set scroll trigger object. Inside, we have a property trigger. This is the section that will be triggered once we scroll and reach it. Pin property true. Scrub property to three. Also, I will use snap property. This is often used for GSAP animations. And end property equals the section two of set width. Once we get the offset width, our animation should work. And as you can see, it works. So we have implemented the horizontal scroll as well. And as a result, we have the section one and section two with smooth scrolling effect and GSAP animation for separate object on the left column and horizontal scroll for five objects. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and it will be very useful. You can use it also in your projects. As always, all code is in the GitHub repository. And welcome to my next tutorials.